so what else is um there what's coming your way we do have the page of wands in reverse and the eight of wands you know how i feel i feel like that is no longer passion here so let me run away eight of wands a quick um action of course it's um cupid's arrows but we had the page of wands in reverse it's like i'm no longer passionate about it so i i better take off um we do have the page of wands and the sun leo energy and of course here is leo sagittarius with the page of wands can be a fire sign in your life and uh and the sun something came to the surface we have this energy of awakening and truth we have the energy of seeing things for what they are we have the energies of now i know and we have yourself king of cups with a page of wands in reverse kind of like we lost interest about something pisces let's see um we might have lost some interest in justice yeah we lost interest and now we ask for justice karma we make final decisions we make we do what's right and then we let them go i kind of feel so let's see before we jump to conclusions um i do love the justice though it has a sense of karma it has a sense of we balance the scales and we are out of here you know so four of cups the overall energy for the end of november four of cups and the ace of pentacles three of wands <clears throat> i'm going to take yeah uh, two of swords and i'm gonna take the ace of wands you know uh, Pisces, the universe is saying that you are presented with a gift uh one of stability and one of passion something you always wanted and something that has the potential to grow and be, I mean, extremely important to you, but you are not paying attention. You are contemplating and not making decisions and you are waiting on the wrong things. We do have the three of wands and two of swords. So there is no action that's taken and you are not seeing the big picture. And now you do have homework and it is to see the opportunities presented to you ace of pentacles ace of wands it can be about new beginnings that you maybe we don't want to take them we want to stay in this because we believe maybe something is not over we are waiting on something that might not happen with the three of wands and the two of swords because we contemplate something we wait and actually new beginnings are um coming kind of all over your energy so let's see what this is all about. We do have past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Let's have the current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual. And let's have the possible outcome for you, the person you are dealing with and mutual. Bottom of the deck, the chariot, cancer energy. That is a sense of moving, get moving. That is a sense of opportunities are coming, do something about. Because you are thinking, are waiting and not paying attention. That's kind of the energy. So um, Pisces, what's going on, baby? So in, in the past, we do have the two of wands in reverse and we do have the three of swords. So um, we've been hurt by this person. It's a lot of disappointment. Three of Swords is a lot of hurt is being um, heartbroken over a connection that we have so much trouble turning our back to, right? Two of Wands. We are at crossroads. We are not even contemplating a choice here. We are thinking and waiting and not paying attention. I feel kind of Pisces that we, we've been hurt and yet we are willing to give another chance. We forgot everything about it's not that important and it's not the focus right sometimes we need to tell ourselves yeah but it was painful and it was um undeserved right and it was not um you know the best decision ever and yet i feel that you are willing to give them a chance uh, right and your heart is so kind and we stay connected and we don't want to kind of lose them now this person of yours, um, Pisces, they do have the Six of Wands in reverse and they do have the Sun. Um, can be Leo energy. We saw um, strength, I believe, right? And now we are seeing the Sun. Can be, can be a Leo, can be another fire sign. 
but they in the past they felt ashamed for what they've done six of wands in reverses i hope nobody's watching i don't want to be seen um it was not smart it was not my best um, my best shot and um and they know it the sun right it's the energy of truth they know what happened they know they've um, done something that it's uh, not of the highest vibration ever and um it's it, it holds a promise of always staying in the light afterwards you know it's like somebody really made i mean kind of like the stupidest um uh, idea you know decision ever and then i decided mm, you know what i promise if this one passes i'll i'll um you know stay in the light um can also be about kids uh by the way pisces um, they are not very proud of what they've done and the decision uh, they've made. And again, this energy of the Empress and the Eight of Wands. Um, so there was nothing left to give and somebody took off and I feel that this is how we got hurt. It has a sense of quick shift in movement. And um, of course can be a Taurus Libra, but I mainly feel that, you know, at some point nothing else was there to be given. and. Uh, and a very hurtful connection had to, to end and somebody traveled, walked away, moved away, kind of in a split second. So Pisces, where are we right now? We do have the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and the Ace of Swords. Probably you are very cold to this person. It has an energy of I see you, right? Ace of Swords, I see you, I have the clarity of vision. I know exactly where I stand. I know exactly where you stand. And for some of you, this is aiming or this is the universe saying, why are we waiting to make a decision? What are, why are we waiting to move on when you should be crystal clear, right? It was betrayal, three of swords. It was betrayal. What makes you, you should be that clear headed, right? You should be that, have that type of conversation as the queen of swords, right? The clarity of the mind, the distance, um, you know, stepping back, back from a situation and coming up with a plan, ace of swords, um, you know, coming, coming up with an idea. What takes you, what makes you so, so confused, right? Now this person of yours, they do have the six of cups and they do have the chariot in reverse. Well, in all honesty, they are stuck and they have feelings for you. This is the energy of remembering the time living in the past, the energy of reconciliation and just not unable to make a move with the chariot. Um, a lot of hurt happened, absolutely. And taking off as it looks like in the middle of the night or something, you know, um, taking off like this and um, it's, you know, they cannot move, but ever ever since they left, somebody here is in the Six of Cups energy. The energy of soulmates, the energy of kids. I'm pretty sure I'm picking up the energy of a Pisces who has children. We do have, with the Sun and the Six of Cups, we also have a strong energy of kids. We have the Empress. We know it's, um, you know, mother of kids and uh, family. So, you know, I kind of feel that somebody is uh, quite ashamed by by the way they handled um, kids and the situation with the kids between the two of you. And they are fully stuck in living in the past at this moment. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the full and we do have the five of pentacles. So it takes a conversation. Uh, Pisces at this time, it takes a conversation between the two of you, but also a leap of faith. Um, I kind of feel that the trust is broken um you know pain happened in so many ways we are still living in the past both of you and a good um you know uh, risk that needs to be um, taken in order to have some form of conversation i do feel that money issues might be um you know uh, we need to discuss our kids that it has a sense of we are stuck with each other because of kids um and again, financial issues, some, some justice issues, some communication that needs to happen, some healing of a communication of some sort, um, and some action. I feel that uh, right now, you know, the overall energy is kind of like the universe pushing you to take some action here, some clear-minded action, right? Um, and they are fully stuck, so it might be kind of on you. 
Uh, but again, trust needs to be rebuilt. We do have the fool and the five of pentacles. Kind of like it was a, a foolish act of uh, breaking the connection, but also breaking any form of communication. And now the universe is saying we, we need to get things moving and we need to be smart about it. The outcome of this um, Pisces, we do have the King of Swords in reverse and the Six of Swords. So them coming back to you would be unfair. Um, Six of Swords in reverse is the energy of coming back, is the energy of traveling back to you, is the energy of I don't wanna, I don't need karma waters, but with you. But it is um, paired with the energy of the King of Swords in reverse is. Um, it's not really the energy we want to have. It has a, a bit of anger. It has a bit of um, of unbalanced energies and unfair energy. So coming back, it would just not be right. Now this person of yours, they have the Five of Pentacles again in reverse and the Eight of Swords. So they are working on themselves at this time. They want to release any binding energies they feel at this point. For the second time, we have the Five of Pentacles in reverse. A conversation needs to happen in order for them to release negative energies, release themselves, release themselves from the prison of the mind, their own, um, you know, confinement. But they need to understand a little bit more. Money are also uh, their concern, Pisces. Somebody here is... Um, uh, touched in some way financially by this um, again kids are involved it has a sense of uh, foolish energies like we've made a decision that was a little bit foolish was a little bit rushed but now we need to address a couple of issues uh, in a mature way Mutual energies between the two of you, Seven of Swords and Ace of Wands some hidden passion between the two of you um, uh, Pisces um, at this point uh, I, I don't think you are fully telling the truth to this person um, in a very open way and I'm not sure they are doing it or at least end of November we are still hiding some bits and pieces they are hiding something um, and that's why we get like the current energy Queen of Swords Ace of Swords that is something we need to be clear about um, Ace of Swords is also written communication and contracts. So for some of you, if this is what you need to sign uh, or come up with a plan of some sort, you are asked to be detailed, to be meticulous because they are hiding something. And probably you are also protecting yourself in such a way that it creates this type of dynamic here, right? A new beginning that we are dishonest about. We are hiding, hiding our truth, hiding our actions. Uh, Seven of Swords with the Ace of Wands is the energy of my next movement will be hidden. I'm not going to tell you what my next move is, right? Um, and I, um, again, this energy of I need to protect myself, I need to, but the universe kind of gives you the full at the core of the reading, taking a leap of faith, taking a risk, um, when it comes to communication, opening up, sharing resources, being generous to someone, to this person. And then that's how we enable this new beginning. That is one. You have one. Three times, right? Uh, four times with the Four of Swords. So the universe is pointing you in the right direction with this reading. But there are a couple of bits and pieces concerning kids and money. And... Um, uh, a personal, a, a more personalized way in dealing with this, right? Not what is required by the book, but kind of an energy to open up and uh, bring some peace of mind with some truth. Um, now let's ask for some guidance, Pisces. Let's see what we need to know over here. Not a lot of zodiac signs, actually. You have Cancer a couple of times. We have Leo. Uh, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius a couple of times. I feel, um, Pisces, we, we do have the Queen of Swords upright and the King of Swords in reverse. So in this connection, maybe the feminine is very straightforward and, um, you know, um, harshly speaking the truth, uh, while the other person is kind of mirroring the opposite, right? And we became cold here. Uh, communication is an issue here. 
So uh, what are we guided to do? The question is always the same. Should we say yay, nay? And we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. We do have children. The whole reading is about kids. The whole reading is about resources and money and sharing and alimony and all that, right? Your love life is being affected by children. We do have worth waiting for, separation, children, and worth waiting for, Pisces. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we do have flirt, so you might be flirting actually with someone. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. And bottom of the deck is chemistry. That is a strong magnetic attraction here. And very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. You know how it feels? You do have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. So Pisces, if you are uh, in a connection with someone and it's just like the initial phases, right? It's a little bit of chemistry and I'm not talking science. <laughs> and a little bit of flirtatious energies. Well, very soon this is coming, but uh, we have separation and children we need to deal with. I don't feel you are guided towards your person at this time. Um, but on the contrary, to open up to new energies, new beginnings. Um, because very soon, actually, that this new energy is coming, wanted or not. Um, Pisces, Divine Feminine. So it is a separation. You might be going through a separation. The universe again is guiding you to up from a place of Divine Feminine. A place of higher self, unconditional love. Um... You know, forgiveness, you know, all the spiritual stuff. We do have the silver waterfall. While we are generous and kind and act from a place of higher self, we need to protect ourselves, the silver waterfall. This is also about transparency, and we do have the seven of swords at this time. It's kind of like for some of you, honesty and transparency coming from a place of I take a chance and I speak my truth and whatever comes, I'll welcome all, um, you know, I don't say consequences, but everything that comes with it. We do have self-respect. Um, so I don't know if you are, um, you know, connecting it's the beginning of a connection to someone. Uh, we do have, right, a need to focus on self-respect at this time. And we do have receive with love and appreciation. Gracious ac acceptance is a way to show love. And bottom of the deck, be willing to express love. Express love to receive love. I kind of feel, um, Pisces, that you are guided to, right, to open up to new energies over here. But it has to come from a place of giving and receiving reciprocation transparency, self-respect, and from a place of higher self. Now let's see the energies we need to put back into the flow at this time. We do have friendship. So for some of you, you might have a friend in your life and you are, um, you know, um, and that's how they show up at this time. So I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Maybe this new person, this flirtatious chemistry that you feel with somebody might be actually a friend. And this connection might become loyalty. So we need to put loyalty back into the flow and friendship. So your reliability demonstrates your loving sense of devotion and consistency of being. Pisces surrender obsessive thinking. So if you're obsessing about a personal situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity or even solve a problem. And we have love. Surrender obsessive thinking and love and loyalty and friendship. Somebody here is really guided to have a very loving and um, uh, friendly connection. Maybe you are friends, like I was saying. I commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things and bottom of the deck, empathy. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. So um, Pisces, if you are separated from someone, you are guided actually to separation with empathy, 
children and empathy, right? We need to do the right thing and do it the right way also. And if you have like flirtatious energies or a beginning of something with a friend, I believe you are more guided um, actually to say yes to this new energy. Uh, from friends to lovers, that's exactly how I feel in this reading, okay? And I know it can be tricky because they can be a family friend and everybody knows and I know it's complicated. Uh, but who are we to judge, right? Pisces, who are we to judge? So, some general guidance. We do have study. Reading, research and education help you gain confidence and clarity about your career. So you are guided to study, to research and educate yourself. It's about, again, career advice. I love this. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. And bottom of the deck, release and surrender. The whole reading is about this, right? We release and surrender to an old energy and we welcome a new one. So we shower you with the blessings of our radiant love. Open your arms and release the challenges that you've held tightly gripped within your hands. Open your hands, arms and heart to our love and assistance. So Pisces, you are not alone in this. You are assisted and you have to talk to your angels, right? People who accompany you, energies that accompany you, spirits, spirit guides. Um, you know better, right? You know better. Um, who guides you through this um, lifetime? So Pisces, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care.